this is a quick uh, demonstration of my demo. Um, so I made a menu kind of UI system with a couple of different uh, menu components. So I've got a color slider and some buttons. The buttons have three color states. They have idle, hover and clicked colors. Uh, this is to give users visual feedback to know when the buttons are being interacted with. So as you can see, I can hover over them like this. Um, if I click them, you can see that they change the title text and, and obviously they change the click color and print out on the debug uh, to at least let me know that they're working. Um, I could leave the text as to stay as it is, but I'd make it default back to normal to show that they're being clicked. And then there's the color slider, which changes the color of the text. It's split into four segments, uh, like 100, 75, 50, 25% kind of thing. Uh, so whatever quarter you're in, you know, decides what color it is, and then it can stay the color while pressing the buttons. And that's it. Well, I'll give you a rundown of my code. Uh, so I made a menu uh, UI file, uh, .h.cpp. Um, so obviously in the .h I declare everything, so I've got a uh, button class. Uh, with numerous properties. Um, I'm using STL color from the graphics engine uh, to set uh, various colors for the idle, hover and click states. Um, a few other variables which I'll go into shortly. Um, then obviously I'll construct a button uh, with a number of parameters and declare some of the functions. Um, I also have some inherited uh, classes for the different various buttons like start, settings and quit uh, with some over, uh, overridden functions. And then finally I've got the slider with its numerous properties as well. Uh, so I'll go into all of that now. Uh, so yeah, .cpp is where most of it, uh, most of the code happens. So I initialize everything um, with the button here. Um, and then yeah, I get the mouse position. Uh, so yeah, there's already a default STL get mouse state uh, function which um, takes in the pointer um, and basically yeah gives you its x and y position. And then I'm able to use that in the handle event updates uh, function. So this is called every tick in test game in the test games update function uh, to check if the map, uh, the buttons have been interacted with. Um, so I use a shared pointer to get access to the event system so I can um, use that to check for the button click which you can see here. Um, so yeah, these are some of the variables I mentioned earlier. Um, so I can you know check and see if it's hovering or if it's clicked. Uh, so basically it compares the mouse position with the position of the button itself, like the um, kind of the X and Y starting points or its width and height. So make sure it's kind of in the surface area of the button. And then if, if that's true, then um, it basically turns hovering true. Uh, but not obviously not clicked because then like, it's hovering it has to be true as well as the left button to be clicked for uh, for the clicked state to be true. Um, and then yeah, I call the onClick function. Uh, for this onClick function, because this is the base class, uh, it just prints out the string. Um, but that's overridden later on with the, the child inherited classes. Um, I set the uh, button's text here, uh, again getting a shared pointer to the graphics engine so I can render it uh, with the draw button function, um, obviously I've got the text variable. Uh, this here basically positions the text, um, I was trying to get it central but it doesn't quite work. I think it's centering the first letter or even like the first pixel or something rather than the actual kind of word length. The yeah, the slider here. This links to the so this function links to the slider, um, and basically I'm getting the so the slider has a variable 
uh, which is an integer and it has a value and then this is being passed over to the button um, into one of its own variables and this way I'm able to uh, change the button's colour using a slider although I changed this to changing the text colour instead. Um, rendering is where obviously the button is drawn to the screen so it uh, has a share pointer to the graphics engine so I can access its functionality so that way I can kind of set the colour um, of the button um, and again it's it's based on on what um, kind of, you know if the button's hovering or if it's clicked and then it decides what colour it's going to be um, this is the slider value which I've just talked about um, so again depending on what the value is uh, changes the colour and then obviously I uh, draw it to screen and fill it. Uh, and then yeah, these are the um, child classes. So I override a couple of functions. Like it all, they all have their own handle event updates um, and their own on click functionality. Uh, what I've done for the on click is given them button ID. So in test game, which I'll show you in a minute, um, depending on what uh, the button ID is will determine what the title text will say. And then the slider is, is similar to the button in the sense that um, you know, I render it to screen and get the mouse position and track it. Um, but the way it's done is slightly different because I've got to, uh, so I've got a toggle which moves with the mouse, uh, mouse's Y position and I've got to determine what segment the mouse is in or the toggle. So I've split it into four segments um, and I've had to basically do some, do some maths to find out what segment it is. So then I can um, apply that uh, to the slider value, which then links to the button. Um, so yeah, I've got this distance function, which works out using the square root. Um, yeah, a bit of complicated math that I had to had to research because it's not my strongest point. Uh, so that's most of the main code that I did. Um, in test game, I had to see declare some new button and slider instances and import some images. And then in the test CPP, I've got I initialized them obviously at the start, give them values, uh, load in the pictures. Uh, set the title text and all of that and then in the update which obviously is every tick um, I call the handle events updates for each button to, uh, and the slider to check if they're being interacted with and I call the change uh, title, yeah, title function so as you can see um, you know depending on what the button ID is it you know then changes the text um, and then finally in render UI you can see that I, um, yeah, obviously draw the title to the screen using, you know, kind of loading in fonts, which this, you know, this was already kind of um, used up the top, so I could, I already knew how to do that, um, and obviously set a font and, you know, the position, size, text, color, everything like that, and then I can render the button and the slider. Um, and yeah, that's basically that. Uh, so that's all the code I did. Um, in terms of what else I used, um, obviously I used the event engine, which has um, obviously button clicks, um, has the poll events and is pressed kind of functions, which in here you can see um, what poll events does um, and then the is pressed. So, you know, it listens out for the click and then it returns true, basically, um, and, you know, lets me know that it's been clicked. And then the graphics engine has a number of functions. So it has obviously SDL color, so I can use all the colors that it has. And then it has things like draw rect and fill rect to render the rectangle and, and same the lines and points for the slider. And then I've got the te um, texture and text for images and, and the text and obviously changing the colour as well, set draw colour. And yeah, that's basically it.